Peace. What was meant to be a good night out with old college friends turned out to be a tragedy when a young man was hit and run in a cold case that would go unsolved for nearly five years. What happened to Josh Woodruff? Hello my friends and welcome to Not Famous. It is always good to talk to you. Today's story is a little bit disturbing. It might be a little bit much for some. It's very tragic. It's the story of Josh Woodruff at the time, 28 years old, when he was in New Orleans uh, celebrating with friends, former college friends from Harvard. Very smart kid with a lot of potential. He was out on New Year's Eve and that morning around 3.15 a.m. he was out trying to hell an Uber ride and what happened to him is that a black sedan with tinted windows was seen uh, friends and, f and and other witnesses were in the area and this car comes hauling through it smacks him it smacks Josh and it not only hits him but unfortunately his body gets stuck underneath the vehicle now this car never stopped according to witnesses they just kept on driving uh, with his body stuck underneath it it is believed after many years a route's been determined uh, that his body was dragged for six miles by this vehicle before becoming dislodged and later found uh, very, very, very much traumatized, very much beat up. He was, of course, dead upon sight. Now, this was the very first day of 2016, my friends. This case is now approaching five years old. It's been cold. Nobody's been arrested. There's been a few hints and leads and such forth there, but the case has made a lot of trouble also. The initial investigator that was working on it suddenly died, uh, suddenly passed away uh, shortly after starting. That kind of reset the case. It's been transferred from department to department, and despite cameras and technology, uh, no license plate has ever been discovered. They did determine that there are certain features that vehicles such as silver trimming, a specific taillight pattern, that help identify it, but nothing's ever come of this. And yet, the family and the friends continue to raise money to offer a reward for any information. They keep pushing out any kind of information they can get. They're hoping for any kind of closure as possible. Uh, they say that they don't seek any kind of vengeance. They just want to know what happened. They want the person to come forward. And so think about that, my friends. Somebody is out there right now who knows exactly what they did, who knows exactly what they did to Josh. They are out there, they're probably watching content like this, they're probably haunted by it, and they're probably debating whether or not to come forward. Maybe law will one day find them, maybe not. But you can't escape God's eyes, my friends. My friends, we'll be covering updates on this case and many others like it, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss a thing. It is always good to talk to you. I hope to be talking to you much more often now. And I appreciate you for watching. If you've stuck around, thank you so much, my friends. It's always great. I hope you have an amazing day. I will talk to you again. And as always, my friends, adios amigos. Famous, famous, famous. Not famous.